Am I wrong for telling my wife she owes me an apology for these last seven years of marriage? I'm 32, and my wife is 32. We dated in high school and got married seven years ago. My wife has always been a scatterbrain. Before marriage, she was always misplacing things and leaving everything half-finished. She was chronically late, had clutter all over her living space, and would get bursts of frustration about these messes, which would lead to hyperactivity into not really doing anything conducive towards a solution. I love her anyway, but at times it was tiring. I saw past that because I knew she was the woman I wanted to marry, and we got married when we were 25. Unfortunately, a lot of the problems that she had seemingly accelerated after marriage. We purchased a larger house because she's obsessed with storage space. But this has essentially meant two bedrooms are no-go zones for me. They're simply full of her clutter. Once they were full, she started leaving things in my office, which I would have to move to not trip over. I tried to convince her for years to go get diagnosed with ADHD and start treatment. But she had a really negative view of ADHD. She viewed it similarly to how she views schizophrenia or psychosis. Not that there's anything wrong with these conditions, but she believes there is. A couple of months ago, she had a girl's night out, and she came home telling me that she might have ADHD. I mean, I had been telling her that for years until she decided that she would have a meltdown every time I brought up ADHD. I first figured it was because she was 30 minutes late and it caused an issue with her friend, but no. She described her frustrations to her friends, and one of them told her that she might have ADHD. A bit of a side note. But when I said it, it was the worst insult imaginable to her. When her friend said it, it was helpful commentary. Well, my wife finally got herself diagnosed the day before yesterday. She came home from the doctor talking about how it explained everything. I responded that I felt I was owed an apology. She was initially confused. But I responded that if she had actually addressed this when I asked her all those years ago, I wouldn't have had to live with the constant stress of her chronic tardiness, clutter, emotional outbursts, and so on. She responded by shrieking at me, and now she's refusing to even have a word. I feel like I may have taken it too far, but were my words towards her justifiable? So, that's the story as it stands. And honestly, it all boils down to what happens next. Will the wife take accountability now that she's starting treatment? Because if she doesn't have enough self-reflection to realize how her actions hurt him, years of disregarding his feelings and brushing off his concerns, then OP has every right to think about walking away. At that point, it's not ADHD. That's just being a crappy person. Let's be real. OP's words may have been harsh, but after being ignored and dismissed for so long, I think it was warranted. It took her friends saying the exact same thing for her to take it seriously. How could that not sting? Here's the thing. Getting diagnosed with something doesn't erase the impact of your actions. Sure, it explains them, but it doesn't automatically excuse them. And, and it doesn't mean the people you've hurt are obligated to forgive or forget. I'll end with this. Having a diagnosis doesn't mean you're free of responsibility. Mental health issues are real, and they do affect behavior. But self-awareness and accountability are tools we all need to use, regardless of what we're dealing with. You can't just expect people to sweep everything under the rug because you've now got an explanation. It's 2024. Let's hold space for nuance. Recognize the challenges, but also expect growth and accountability. Anyway, that's my take. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts below and let's discuss.